Map reading two, signs and symbols. It is not always possible to draw all ground features exactly to scale on a map, as you can see from the two images. Conventional signs are used to provide a form of shorthand which conveys information to the user. It is difficult to remember every conventional sign, and this is why there is a legend or a key printed on every map to help you. As a soldier, it's not imperative to remember every conventional sign, but remembering the most important ones will make your job easier when navigating. Conventional signs are divided into five groups. Line symbols can vary from roads and paths shown here to public rights of way and railways. Most buildings are shown by a symbol or a plan of their position. Grid references are given to the centre of the symbols and large built up areas are usually shaded because there is not enough room to include individual buildings. Trees and landscape provide most of the colour on maps and a point to note is that areas of trees less than 100 metres square are not normally shown. Water features are clearly shown in blue and are particularly important because it can be both an obstacle and a good navigation tool for military movement. Where diagrams or symbols can't be used, either words or abbreviations, such as those shown, are used to provide additional information.